Hello friends, I am Rajan and you are watching Emotize Minds. Today I am going to show you uh, client server communication using TCP IP connection. So let's get started. So first of all create project new project let's give uh, our project next project name client server finish okay so here we need to make two classes client client node and the other one is server node okay first of all let's make server so let's get started let's make uh, let's complete server class so first of all make main method public static void main string args okay so first thing we need to do is create server socket with given port So let's and then we need to create client object to accept client request and we need to create input output streams then we need to accept name which will be input from client side name comes from client side then we are going to send hello plus given name to client so this will be your output and then finally close all the sockets and streams now let's start coding so first we need to create server socket so for that we need to do server socket new server socket the parameter is port number which is we are going 1234 we are going to give 1234 we need to import server socket module so just hover on it and it will do all stuffs add throw declaration now we need to create a client object so for that we need to create socket object client equal to new socket no it is sc dot accept so here error is going to listen client request and when client will send it will move forward from here except now we need to create input and output streams so for that data input stream is equal to new data input stream client dot get input stream for output stream data output stream op equal to new data output stream line dot get output stream so here we need to import these modules necessary for this just over on it and uh, it will do all stuff now we need to accept name which is coming from client side for that make string name equal to and the name is coming from client side so here we are going so for us it is input so in dot read line 
so in name we will be storing name of client now we need to send hello plus name which is coming from client side to client so for that make another string output equal to hello plus name and now we, we need to send hello plus name to client so for that copy dot write bytes output and finally we need to close all the streams and sockets so for that in dot close copy dot close client dot close and server dot close sorry sc dot close so what is the problem here change uh, right bytes okay now the server is ready so what it will do here uh, we had created a server server object now it will wait for client to make request uh, these two are input and output streams in will accept data coming from client side and op is useful to sending data to server client here it is uh, reading data from client side and uh, this will send hello plus name to client and here we are just closing all the sockets now let's make client side so first of all we need to oh, first of all make main method public static void main string args ok so first step is we need to make client object so let's make client object so socket client equal to new socket here we will need ip address of destination and port of destination so let me check my ip address it is 172.37.6.179 let's just copy it 172.37.6.179 i think it's right okay it's right and the port we will see from here it is a uh, 1234 so just write 1234 now we have created a client object and just import this module okay And uh, just surround it with okay add throw declaration now we have created client object now we need to make data input and output streams like we have uh, uh, did in server node just do the same thing here or let us just copy it Now we need to send name of client to server. For that, uh, this is our output stream. So we will use this copy dot write bytes and uh, let us send uh, Qt. So now when we send this Qt it will be accepted here in a uh, year and uh, now it will generate this string output hello qt and then it will write back to client uh, op dot write bytes so now here we are going to receive this the same string so now use uh, make another string input string and uh, message equal to in dot read line here we will receive message hello cutie 
and let us just print it system dot out dot print ln the message okay now let us just close all the sockets and strings that is a in dot close copy dot close and client dot close okay so now code of both the sides are done now we just need to test it using command prompt so let's do that okay now let's compile and run both these files okay now open cmd and uh, go to the path where this file actually resides and then use uh, and then compile server node java c server node dot java then uh, and then run server node okay now go to other command prompt other window of command prompt and there compile client node and then uh, run client node so here you can see hello qt so qt is sent by client node which is received by server and hello qt is generated there and again hello qt is sent from server to client so now let's make some changes and let us give input from client side and then send to server so here System dot out dot print ln. Your name. So here we are going to take input of string. For that we need to make string of name. Then uh, we need to make scanner scanner s equal to scanner s equal to new scanner system dot in here we need to import scanner module now name equal to s dot read line next line. So here we are going to accept line from command prompt it will be stored in name and then we are going to write name plus slash n okay so here i will take input from client console send it to server and then server will send me and i will receive message from server and now let's make some changes okay we don't need to make any change here so just compile both sides okay now compile server node and then run it do the same thing on client side compile client node and then uh, run it so here uh, it is asking your name so if i write rt so uh, rt is sent to server side and it, it generated hello rt and it sent me back here so here uh, our basic communication task is over so thank you for watching my video if you like my video uh, give a thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel